What is going on guys? It is Chase here and today we're making a video of the 2006 six foot tall inflatable Charlie Brown sledding snowing globe. Uh, I got this off of Lucas the Huge Jemmy guy uh, for a really good deal. Uh, the thing is basically in, in perfect shape. It's just got some dirt marks on it which you know it was used outside so why wouldn't it? Um, it took a little bit to uh, ship because it was like with U UPS and for some reason there was like a weird glitch with it where they were, or not a glitch, but they just like held on to it, to it for a little bit, but uh, finally got it. Um, this was sold at Sears, I believe. Guys, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, I'm pretty certain it was sold at Sears. <laughs> Which again, was the best store to get uh, inflatable Snoopy designs. Now, the sledding Snoopy one is not only my favorite Snoopy inflatable, but it's also my favorite snow globe. I think this is the best snow globe that they ever did, just because it's such a classic design. I gotta figure out how this is going to inflate because it's a little twisted up. It's going to take a it's going to take a second to inflate, but I will keep you guys. Uh, I will keep, just keep showing it to you guys until it is inflated, because you guys. Um, I, I notice when people do snow globe reviews, they hardly ever show how long it takes to inflate. They don't take too long, but I just like to show you guys every single aspect that I can. You can see it's already snowing. Uh, it's just gonna take a minute to get up, and of course with these older globes designs. Uh, it already has the tethers attached to it, which I really, really like. But the only unfortunate thing is they can get caught. Like this one is right here. I think it's just about fully inflated. Yep. So there it is. This thing is in immaculate shape. It snows perfectly. It's not like shooting out. It's it's just it's slowly coming down. And it fills up the entire area. The snow pellets are not sticking. You can see. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to explode. Just like um, my the other globe I have, but it inflates really, really super nicely. I love it. So you can see around the back um, with these older globes they have a tube that goes up the back of it. So with the newer ones, what it's like is it's just, it's just like an inflatable shaped into a tube or fabric that's shaped into a tube that goes up. No, no, no. These old ones have an actual like plastic tube that goes up. Uh, it's really hard to explain, but for those of you that have a older globe, you guys know what I'm talking about. This is actually my first classic globe and I'm very happy this is my first classic globe because this is, again, like I said, uh, I think the best globe that they ever did. You can see the sign is still attached, which isn't much of a surprise. I mean, it kind of is. Sometimes in bad windstorms, they tend to come undone for some reason, but this one's still on there. Uh, he didn't get this brand new. He got this off of eBay um, and it was used, but I mean, as you can hardly tell, like it's not, it's not faded at all. It's got all its colors and he said there's no thin spots on this. I mean, I, I'm not seeing any because it's in the day, but I mean, you can I mean, you can see everything, even the inside characters inflate perfect. So I'm gonna try and move the snow a little bit into the middle. It's snowing a little bit more. There we go. Uh, yeah, see, there we go. Now it's snowing a lot. A complaint that somebody had, this was in one of our group chats, there was a complaint that was said that the, the actual sled itself looked like it was floating. Um, no, it's not floating. You can see that it sits in the snow just fine. Um, the number one rule that I was told about this is that when it rains, put this side up or else 
water will go in through the air pocket right here. And again, with the air pockets, it's not to keep the globe from exploding. It is to keep the inside characters inflated. And actually, I can probably show you guys what that looks like right now if I cover this up. If I cover this up, the character should start to def deflate. You can see they're, they're starting to deflate. And it obviously makes the globe inflate better, but you know, it, you don't want them deflating. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. This is the 2006 six foot tall inflatable Snoopy snowing globe. This is, I, I, again, I, I'll say it once, I'll say it again. This is my favorite snow globe design. I love it so much. I, I, I'm thrilled to have it in my possession. I never thought I'd get one of these. Uh, there is one near me that's completely worn to the ground, so it is very nice to see it actually working in person. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. This is the 2006 six foot tall Sears Snoopy uh, snowing globe. And I'll see you guys next time.